Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome to week 10 of Hope Learning. It's Monday, the 15th of June, 2020. Now, as always, I hope that you and your families are well, and I hope that you're engaging every day with the work your teachers are setting for you in Google Classroom. Remember the really important features of dealing with the current situation. Stay connected, follow a regular daily routine, take plenty of exercise, eat healthily, get enough sleep, make sure that you stay away from electronic devices after about 7 p.m. and you'll sleep so much better. Read every day and be kind and helpful to everyone around you. I hope that you've been following the news this week and if you have, you will know that two issues in particular have dominated our newspapers and television. The first is you and what is best for you. When will schools open again? How will they open again? And we still don't know the full answer to those questions. What we do know, however, is this. We know that a lot of students in reception, in year one and in year six, have already started back at school. And many of you may well have younger brothers and sisters who are now going to school every day. We know that students in year 10 will start having some time in school. And as of today, we are seeing some of you in school. We have been really looking forward to that. So if you are in year 10, make sure that you know when you're supposed to come in and what will be expected of you, as explained in the letter and the video that I've shared with you and your parents. The third thing that we know for sure is that schools will reopen for everybody sooner or later. We're all looking forward to that day and to make sure that when it comes you are ready, keep engaging with Google and following the advice that I share with you every week. Now, the second issue that has been dominating the news again this week is the discussion that is taking place about racism in society and the Black Lives Matter movement. This is a very important discussion, so do try and follow it and try to understand it. In particular this week, there has been a lot of discussion about the place of statues in our society. Some people feel that statues of people who were known to be racist should be taken down. You will have seen on the news that the statue of a 17th and 18th century slave trader in Bristol was pulled down and it was thrown into the harbour. Other people feel that these statues are part of our history and so they should remain to remind us of those things. What do you think? For me, it raises some very, very interesting, more general questions. One of which is this. Is it ever a good idea to celebrate anyone as a hero with a statue? Because nobody is perfect and everybody has flaws. Another question it raises for me is exemplified by the statue in Bristol that was pulled down. It was a statue of Edward Colston, who became very rich through the slave trade, one of the most wicked activities ever in human history. Then, later in life, he donated all his wealth to his local community, and it was used to build schools and hospitals and all sorts of other civic amenities for the benefit of all. So the question is this, is it ever possible to atone for such wickedness by good deeds later in life? Can good deeds ever put right earlier evil deeds? Even if you think they can, should that be celebrated? Were his actions in donating the money to good causes genuine? Or were they an attempt to change history and the way that people judged him? That certainly worked for him, didn't it? Because a statue was erected in his honour. These are difficult questions, but they are serious questions that we should all think about and discuss with each other in sensible, grown-up ways, so that we can all move on as a society to a much better place 
in terms of how we regard each other. So that's everything that I wanted to share with you this week. I hope you have a really productive week. Remember to help around the house and to be kind to everyone you connect with. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thank you for listening.